All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all keeping safe. So back with another weekly vendor reset video. We're going to get straight into this one and see what there is. I did miss last week, so let's see what we got this week. So to start off with, we got the safety distance, the named uh, MPX, pretty low crit chance. This also 22.5% um, optimal range. I actually need that for my uh, recal library, so I'm going to pick that up, but not a particularly good weapon. Uh, tactical UMP with Vindictive. Again, not an overly good weapon at all. We've also got a SOCOM MK16 with close and personal. Uh, it's got damage to armor, health damage, assault rifle damage. This is one of those weapons that I think might be good, and I might want to test it out, but I never actually get around to doing it. Uh, we've got a, a Magnum here with Ignited. We've got a Walker and Harris backpack, which is full rainbow. We've also got <laughs> a chess piece, full rainbow as well, 511 tactical. 4.3% uh, crit chance mod. 6.5% armor repair. Uh, we've got 5.9% duration for the turret, and then 5% blast radius for sticky, so Business. rainbows galore. Yes, let's move on to the clan vendor. Clan vendor time, we've got the Tsunami, um, which is the named SASG, with shotgun damage, damage to armor, stability, and perfect pummel. Perfect pummel actually works well with this, but you don't really want stability, it's not kind of needed. Tip of the spear with max weapon damage, and it's got headshot damage, so that's pretty good for a pickup if you're needing that. I might need that myself, actually. Hunter's Fury as well. Uh, again, another good pickup this week if you're needing the Hunter's Fury gloves. Hardwired gloves as well. We've got a, a Vector here with max SMG damage. It's got crit chance and health damage, so not bad. Uh, but it's got steady handed, which you don't really need. So you probably roll that away. And when you do that, it's not the best pickup. KSG with Ignited. Again, uh, not particularly good pickup. Group of Sombra gloves with skill haste and status effects weapon damage. Not great. We've got an Org with Red Basket. Again, not particularly great. Badger Tough uh, Mask with almost max health. We've got armor on there. And we've also got explosive resistance. Badger Tough Knee Pads. Uh, not particularly good pickup. We've got Empress stuff here. So we've got Empress Knee Pads with repair skills and skill haste. Could be, could be worth a pickup if you're needing a build with repair skills on it. We've also got 5% crit chance mod, 16.8% repair, repair skills mod, 10.6% crit hit damage mod, and then we've got 6.3% damage on Firefly. So let's move on to the next vendor, guys. All right, so theater settlement, we got the surge uh, with perfect spike. It's got reload speed, crit damage, rifle damage. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly good role for that surge this week. we got an M870 with perpetuation. Again, not particularly good. MK17 with max crit damage. Reload speed, rifle damage, and then eyeless. Not great. Douglas and Harding gloves, particularly not particularly great either. We got Ariada Holdings uh, knee pads. That's not bad actually. If you're going for a skill damage, headshot damage build, possibly, then it's got skill damage, it's got headshot damage, uh, and it's got weapon damage. So you could use that, I guess, but not great pickup. 8.5% uh, burn resistance mod, 4.7% skill haste for mines, 4.3% deflected damage for the shield there. Max targets for Firefly and then 6% health for decoy. So moving on to the next one, guys. So Campus Settlement, we got Punch Drunk with weapon damage, headshot damage, and crit damage. That's a pretty strong roll there. That's pretty god roll. So that's worth a pickup if you're needing that. Uh, that's definitely the best piece so far. Hunting M44 with maxed headshot damage. It's got damage to armor, marksman rifle damage, and it's got first blood. Could be used, although first blood for me is not particularly good talent. Uh, L86 with Vindictive, not particularly good role on that one. We've got China Light uh, Mask with Repair Skills, Crit Damage, not great. Alps Summit Holster with Skill Damage, Repair Skills, that could be used. Uh, we've got a 16.2% Repair Skills mod, 6.4% Burn Strength for Chem, uh, 4 Stinger Charges for Hive, 5% Skill Haste for Pulse, and then 4.1% Duration for the Trap. So not great, but I've got to say that Punch Drunk Mask, do you know what? Let me just pick this one up, because I'm sure I don't have one as good as that. Let's move on to the Dark Zone vendors. DZ West. Um, we've got Sokolov Concern, the firm handshake named piece with status effects, headshot damage, weapon damage, possibly. It's actually a good piece if you're using a status effect build where you're using an SMG. Uh, Custom M8, uh, M870 shotgun, not great. US C45 with Vindictive, not particularly good on that one either. Hunter's Fury gloves. Uh, we've got the Rigger knee pads, so if you're in need of those knee pads, there they are. Uh, Richter and Kaiser gloves, uh, not particularly good role. Yao gear as well. Uh, armor, skill damage, test effects, not great. I actually noticed that Yao gear was in the base of operations last week, I believe. That's, I think that's the first time I've ever seen DZ gear in a vendor in the base of operations. But anyway, 8.6% burn resistance mod, 6.2% uh, health for the mines, 4.2% shield health. 
8.1% speed for Firefly, and then 6% duration for Decoy. So, not really anything worth picking up from here. Next one, DZ South. We've got the Mozambique Special. Moving on. <laughs> CMMG Banshee. Uh, SMG, not particularly good role on that one. We got a SIG 556 with max damage to armor. It's got Eyeless on there, it's unfortunate. M45A1 pistol. Uh, we got a Hunter's Fury backpack. Uh, again, not particularly great. We got a Hunter's Fury chest piece. Again, not particularly great. You really wanted to get these with max uh, weapon damage on these already so that you can do what you want with the next attribute. Petrov backpack with weapon damage, weapon handling, headshot damage, and versatile. Mm, um, probably not. Alp Summit uh, chest piece uh, with rainbow. Uh, we got 10.1% crit damage mod, 6.3% uh, duration for the drone, 4.2% damage for turret, and then 4.2% scale haste for sticky. So let's move on to the East Vendor. East Vendor time, and what have we got? We've got the Carnage with LMG damage, damage targets out of cover, and headshot damage. So not the best roll. Uh, still a good weapon, but not the best roll. So probably not worth getting that one. Uh, SRS A1 Sniper, we got a M249B LMG with not particularly good roll on there either. Eclipse Protocol Mask with repair skills, we've got Foundry Bulwark uh, Holster with armor and headshot damage. Richter and Kaiser Mask with, uh, could work actually because that repair skills is almost max, so you roll away that hazard protection or you could keep it if you wanted to. 511 Holster with armor, explosive resistance and health could be used, although I don't really use 511 for anything because health is pretty pointless in this game. 10.2% skill haste mod, 4.2% damage for chem, 4% or 4 plus 4 stim charges. I really wish they would get rid of this uh, these these variants. 6.3% uh, cone size for pulse and then 5.9% duration for trap. So nothing Detective. great. Let's move on to New York. So New York vendor. We got the all gay free with SMG damage, crit chance, swap speed. It's a shame, and this also got preservation on there, so not great. We got a RPK with max LMG damage, damage targets out of cover, and rate of fire with Vindictive. Again, I probably wouldn't say that's particularly good. We got a military M870 with crit chance, damage to armor, shotgun damage pumped up. Uh, we got this pistol, the Disorus, with Ranger. We got Richter and Kaiser chest piece with skill haste, armor regen, and gun slinger. Again, not great. Sokolov concern, um, gloves, weapon damage, armor regen, has a protection. We've got Golan gear for the um, holster here. It's got status effects on there. It's got armor and hazard protection. Maybe could be used, possibly. I don't know. 10% uh, crit damage mod, 7% headshot damage mod, 4.1% damage to the drone, 5.9% skill haste to chem, and then 4.3% duration to the trap. Let's move on to the last vendor here in New York. And apologies if you can hear that rumbling. There is a bike gang around here, which really annoys me. <laughs> we got Roy here with a Tommy gun with spike on it. I really wish they would do some of the Tommy gun and actually make it viable, give it some mods and stuff, because it's just um, it's just not viable at this point. Uh, Paratrooper SVD with Optimist, so that can work in a build. Optimist does work for um, rifles like this, these ri these uh, marksman rifle variants, and also just rifles in general. So that could work. Uh, it's a shame that the headshot damage is pretty low and the marksman rifle damage is low as well. But if you wanted to try it out, there you go. Shotgun damage, damage to armor, reload speed for this custom M870 with Sadist. D50 with Lucky Shot. Richter and Kaiser chest piece with skill damage. Hazard protection, it's got trauma on there as well. Richter and Kaiser knee pads again, not great. Richter and Kaiser, there's a lot of Richter and Kaiser this week. Richter and Kaiser mask with status effects and health. And then we got 8.5% bleed resistance mod. Uh, we got disrupt resistance mod at 8.5%. 6.1% skill haste for turret. 7.8% speed for Firefly, and then 4.3% duration for the trap. So this week, guys, there is this. There's a lot of rainbows. There's a lot of Richter and Kaiser, and I would say the best pickup this week is gonna be that punch drunk mask. But that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and until the next video, epic out.